hello everyone welcome back to the channel it's a haul video today you guys i will be talking about these fragrances that i added to my perfume collection the past couple of months i am very happy with this haul because i have some new fragrance discoveries a lucky purchase some fragrance gifts three purchases and some nostalgic purchases as well i'm gonna start with the fragrance gift this is teddy mugler's angel au crochet 2019 this was given to me by ode jane i'm going to link her video down below she is so generous what a kind heart you guys she gave me a full bottle she knows i have been looking for like a perfect um mango fragrance and this is all about mangoes it has mangoes black currant it has praline and patchouli this was my 2022 my summer 2022 fragrance and i have been using this one a lot i received a lot of compliments and um it's just a great fragrance. It has florals, fruity notes, and some gourmand notes as well. It's perfect for spring and summer, but it also has that depth. It has that body that, you know, you can still wear this as well for, you know, fall and winter. Thank you, Dr. Jane, Oda Jane. Check her channel out. So this is Eau Crochet 2019. And I'm going to go and talk about this lucky purchase. This is Love Fest Burning Cherry from Kayali. So I have been, you know, seeing a lot of reviews while I was back home in the Philippines when this was released. And I really contemplated on getting like a sample of this one. But, you know, adding everything up, $25 for the sample and shipping and everything else, I was just like... You know, like at this point, I'm trying to limit my purchases and, you know, it was just too much. It was too expensive and I just decided I'm going to wait it out. And then I saw this one advertised here on Facebook, uh, 50 ml, and I got this one for almost half the price. The one who sold this one, you know, she wasn't really loving this one. She loves Kiali fragrances, but this one was a miss for her. So this one has burning cherry, raspberry, praline, palo santo, guayac wood, and patchouli. So she said it was too woody for her. It's burning cherry. So understandably so, it would have a lot of woody notes. So it's not just your syrupy or sweet cherry. It would have that woody base, which I really love actually. I've been wearing this one, but I think this one will be more perfect for super cold or super cool weather. I think then I would really appreciate more of the cherry, but yeah, very happy with this one. Love Fest Burning Cherry 48 from Kayali. And then I'm gonna go to some body mists. So these are ones that I purchased before. So these are just repurchases. I got two of these actually. This is In The Stars from Bath & Body Works. I got this one like a couple of years ago only because of the name in the stars i think it's just really nice and it reminds me of one of my favorite songs and this is just one of those you know after shower scents or like before sleeping so yeah i got two of these believe it or not this is the first time trying this one and you guys can already see that i used a lot from this um bottle i love spraying this one using this after i shower and i love spraying my pillows and my comforter with this one so warm vanilla sugar I haven't tried layering any like body mist, so I'm not really that big on layering. But I know that you know this one, you can use this to boost the vanilla notes or vanilla accords in some fragrances. Then I'm going to talk about these ones right here. So these are just body mists, body sprays from a local brand back home. This is from Bench Brad Splash Colognes. These were the body mists and the colognes that I wore. Um, when I was in high school and in college. These were my nostalgic um, purchases. So Kiwi Frost, it doesn't smell anything like Kiwi at all, but it just gives you that whole neon green like kind of scent. It's very screechy, it's very sweet, it's very synthetic, but I love it. Reminds me again of high school and college, the first couple of years. So this is Kiwi Frost. And then this one, Strawberry Shake. I think I mentioned this when I talked about um, Pink Sugar. So this is a very sweet, sugary kind of a strawberry scent. So it's not a very realistic strawberry. It's more like strawberry flavoring or strawberry juice or something. Again, very synthetic, but I just really love this kind of, you know, sweetness, like fragrances, like these ones that are just obnoxiously sweet. If I could describe this, this is like your strawberry cream candy kind of a scent. So strawberry shake is raspberry crush. I didn't really use this one a lot. I went back and forth with um, Kiwi Frost and Strawberry Shake, 
but this one just reminds me of high school because my best friend then really really loved this one she loves the color purple and she loved this one too so this has more of that sour tangy kind of a raspberry scent and this one i bought again for nostalgic purposes <laughs> for nostalgic reasons this is a body spray called eight i bought this one because my husband used this one when we first met so first couple of years this was his um scent and then let us go to this entire perfume collection so i have here my fragrance gift my nostalgic scents and i also have my lucky purchase some repurchases and a new discovery and this is a new discovery as well a new fragrance house from Ren Atelier. I'm gonna link their Instagram site down below. So I'm gonna start with this one. This is Cerveza Rosa. Before I start talking about the fragrance, I love the bottle, how simple they are. And this detail of having, you know, the name engraved on the bottle and not just having it printed on or put a sticker on it. I love the detail. So this one, Cerveza Rosa, just by the name, you would guess that this is a floral fragrance. Yes, it is. It has rose, but it also has that unique note of beer added to it. That's why it's called Cerveza Rosa. And it's a sweet kind of a floral. It's powdery, but it has that kick from the beer note added to it. This one also has apple, lychee, it has pink pepper, so Cerveza Rosa. And the next one is called Hacenderos, and this one is a fougere, but it's perfectly unisex. Like, I love this one too. I love every single one, actually. So this one has notes like barnyard accord, it has leather, it has lemon, cypress, and um, rosemary. So it's that typical fougere, but it has, you know, added notes in the base, like the barnyard accord. It makes this one really, really unique, and it perfectly fits the name Hacenderos by having leather and that barnyard accord in there as well the next one is cosa nostra so cosa nostra is one of i think this is one of the more challenging fragrances from the entire collection this was one of the fragrances that i always sprayed on my arm back home cosa nostra is a powdery fragrance but it also has a lot of boozy notes it has whiskey it has bourbon but it also has gunpowder tobacco so you get the whole idea of how this fragrance is tobacco leather all of that in here very very beautiful and unique cosa nostra and here I have Valenzuela Romance. So this one is a gourmand fragrance. It has notes like butter, chocolate, it also has florals, but because of notes like chocolate and all the deeper and darker, heavier notes in the base, this can work pretty, pretty well as a unisex fragrance. So Valenzuela Romance, very unique notes like butter and chocolate. This is probably one of my most favorite out of the entire line, maybe because of the name, but because of how surprising it is, um, I expected this one to be heavy on the oud, but honestly, I don't really detect oud in here, so it's not your typical oud fragrance. Um, I love the whole idea by representing the country. You know, Manila is the capital city of the Philippines, and this one, you guys, has a very unique blend of notes. It has ginger and nutmeg as a top notes, but it also has calamansi, which is the Philippine version of like a lemon. Not really a lemon, like a lime. Um, it belongs to that family, but it also has incense. It makes me think of cathedrals back home. And this one has Sampaguita or Jasmine Sambac or National Flower. And surprisingly, it also has the Banana Q Accord. We'll be talking more about these fragrances on a separate video, but this one, Manila Oud, it doesn't have a lot of Oud in here. I don't really get a lot of Oud, but it is so unique. So this one is Manila Oud. And the last one is one that is called Banqueros. So this was the very first fragrance that I tried from this entire collection. I brought this one with me when we went to Camigan Island. And it, it was just a very fitting scent, Banqueros, which represents our fishermen. And this is a marine fragrance. This one has notes like frangipani, coconuts. It's very tropical. It really makes you imagine, you know, the ocean. This has driftwood, it has seaweed, it has the sea accord, but it also has spicy notes like nutmeg, star anise, and ginger. So spices that really also reminds me of our dishes back home. So banqueros. So these are the fragrances that I added to my perfume collection the past couple of months. I am very happy with this um, fragrance haul. I love that I was able to discover a new fragrance house that I'm really thoroughly loving. I'm also very happy to have these very nostalgic scents, this perfect fragrance fragrance gift from Eau de Jane and this very lucky um, purchase. Once again, thank you for watching today's video. As I always say in every single video, 
have fun much love stay safe and see you in the next one